Hey guys, I say welcome back to my shop, but we're not at my shop. I'm at my friend Bill Van Norden's uh, home shop. I want to do a quickie video on what our next project is. So what we have here is a dynamite DM3300 uh, turning center. Uh, I'd say it's a relatively small turning center. It is. Um, it's 5C capable. Um, it has an 8 position turret. And uh, what we're going to do, we've already removed the existing control from it. And what we're going to be doing is Acorn's new motion controller. And we're going to be using GMM AC servo drives and servos. Um, right now, Bill is getting everything preliminarily wired. He's kind of getting things as far as he can until we get the, uh, the new motion controller from uh, Centroid. Uh, he's got his power supply set up there. There's a little gecko drive. I believe it's the G216. Uh, it is going, it's going to uh, rotate the turret and uh, using a stepper motor. Um, the thing about the G216, it just takes an input for clockwise direction and an input for counterclockwise counter direction. And it's just basically going to turn that, oh, there's Bill's demonstrating it. So it's just turning the, the turret just like a motor. This turret has the stepper to rotate the turret. It has a curvet coupling in it. As you may have seen, the turret goes out, it unlocks, it rolls, and then to the proper position, and then it comes back in. There you can see it's come out, and then it's locked back in. It also has a, an encoder um, that's belted to the turret at one-to-one. -one. Well, that's for feedback to the control to make sure the turret is in position. There, are, there is a home sensor in this turret to tell the control that it's at tool number one and uh, there are uh, turret out and turret in sensors that are required um, so that the, the control will, won't advance to the next operation in the tool change unless the conditions met. Okay, it also has a pneumatic tail stock and a pneumatic tail stock lock. That demonstrates the lock. There's the lock and then here's the tail, st tail stock extend. Tail stock extend, and then tail stock retract. Those are all pneumatically driven. And then of course it's got a it's got a spindle right now. It has a uh, 5C um, collet that's also pneumatically actuated. There, it just pulled the collet in. There, it extended, unlocked the collet. Uh, we'll be using a Yaskawa V1000. Um, to control the spindle motor. That's a five horsepower single phase input drive. This whole machine will run on single phase power when it's done. Um, this is the pneumatic control from the original machine. So you can set the pressure of the, the chuck and the tail stop and then the on off switch. So we'll give you more updates as we, we uh, move forward. Right now we're waiting on the motion controller and then we'll tell, we'll show you what that is